Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger and I am coming at you with League of Legends and I'm bringing you something I haven't brought in a while and that's me in the jungle. Uh, I've been doing of course a lot of support, the aggressive support and I enjoy supporting but I really wanted to get back in the jungle especially with the release of the new character, Vi. Oh, give me one sec, I need a drink before I start this. All right. Now, a couple things about Vi. Well, actually, one very important thing to me. In still learning her, my builds may be a little off. I don't take the wrong. Uh, I don't take the right abilities to start out with. I don't max the right ability in this game. Um, in other games, I actually will max the right abilities first, which is W, then E, then Q. And, of course, her ulti whenever that comes up. But I was just trying things out. And in this video, I was trying a different rune page. It does work on her um, fairly well. And I may use it from time to time versus, like, an attack damage page. And that is I'm using attack speed reds. I'm using armor yellows, magic resist per level blues, and movement speed quints. One moment. I apologize. So, and my masteries are 9210. Uh, I tried a, a 1713 mastery page on her, which is something I use for, um, you know, kind of going really tanky, but it doesn't work very well on her. So, 921 definitely works a lot better. Um, in terms of jungling her. As you can see, I've taken the E uh, first, that AoE punch, and it does work okay, but again, going that, going W um, is a little bit faster, slightly better. Now, something else I don't build Vi for is, um, you know, the glass cannon. 921, I think, is, is best for me on her. I'm not saying other people can't build her, like, really high damage, but I don't. You know, I don't build her that really high damage um, fighter, that offensive masteries. I, I'm much more comfortable jungling tanky, bruiser kind, um, or pure tank junglers. That's, well, that's where I'm comfortable at. So that's where I go with Vi, and as you may have seen, I'm actually against a jungle fizz of all things. And you take a quick look at, uh, well, it's not going to show, but I think fizz goes AP jungler. And, well, you see right now, I'm level 3, fizz is level 2, and he's almost dead. You know, we'll, we'll keep an eye. See, he's got to wait for his potions to come up so he can get his red. I'm already got my red, and I'm on the golems. So I don't know what this fizz was going, but he's level 3, and I'm level 4. So, yeah, I definitely am taking a, an advantage on him, and that advantage will show in a very lucky appearance, a very lucky um, encounter. That's what I'm looking for in a little while. Now, the one thing I do have a problem with in Vi is I don't feel like her ganks are very strong before 6. You know, landing her dash punch, which I think temporarily stuns and knocks a champion away a little bit, um, is okay. It's not really CC-ish. And you can see it coming from a mile away. You know? You can, re you can really see the, the punch coming. You see the wind-up. You see her moving. And I'm looking to steal red, but it's not here. Looking to try and gank bot, but they push Janna into the tower, and then Ash shows up. And right here, oops, damn it, I'm gonna back that up and show it to you. I come across Fizz, who's almost dead, and he's level five to my level six. So use my ulti and kill him. Probably didn't need to use my ulti, but eh, hell with it. I secure the first blood on Fizz, putting him back even further. Now you take a look at Fizz here. He's still no definite on which way he's going. 
So I steal this red. I should have donated that red to um, one of my lanes, probably Warwick. Uh, but oh no, this is where oh this is where I steal the red. I thought I stole it earlier. But the jungle changes have really put me in a mindset of keeping my buffs and keeping keeping my things. And there goes out the ulti and missing the dash punch, but we will be able to get the kill, but unfortunately it's going to be really stupid as I run the wrong way on the flash, so I'm pretty fucked. I'm hoping my dash punch comes up so I can get away, but unfortunately arrow uh, to the back and then Nidalee's gonna... yeah. This Shen, I'll be straight with you, this Shen did really, really good in this game, um, but Here's the reality. Even though he was really effective in the game, the rest of his team was not. And that, in the end, really caused his team to lose. Because only Shen did really well. Now, right now, I took the attack speed boots. Um, I don't know if this is best on her. Maybe, uh, well, Merc Treads, definitely if you're against a heavy CC team. Um... But I you build um, Spirit of the Ancient Golem on her because, like I said, I build for that tankiness. Um, you can easily build a um, a Riggles on her, but I really don't think she needs it. I mean, here I am, level seven, just easily taking out the monsters uh, with her passive, with her damage already. So I really build her for that tanky. Um, style and going for that golem uh, I feel is really effective on her over anything else especially because her passive is when you activate an ability uh, she shields for 10% of her health so that puts her in a really strong uh, position on on being high health it has I think an 18 second cooldown but it still works look in the tower die of Akali here and yeah you know, I see fizz go by and I'm like whoops never mind uh, Fizz, again, probably not something to be greatly worried about, but eh, he, I know he's close by. don't want to tower dive him. Uh, excuse me, please. Yeah, I apologize. Looking to come up behind Shen, but uh, no, Shen went back. So, damn it, nothing I'm looking at is going really well, but... Oh, what do we have here? Hi, Fizz. Unfortunately, he was able to have his blue down too much already. And trying to get him... There's the ulti on him. I get him low, but he tricksters away. Gets the shark on me, but there's Katarina. Will Katarina be able to finish him? Uh, nope, there's a Kali. Just puts out some damage on her, scares her away. Whoop, no, wait, wait, wait. Trickster? Oh, shit, there's Shen. Gets the double kill, but then, yeah. Still, the jungler goes down, and yeah, I'm over here farming wolves. Actually, it's a good thing I didn't follow, because Shen probably would have been a lot further on. So yeah, Shen's on the killing spree. He's, like I said, he's going to be quite a bit of ways into kills before we actually get him down the first time. Now, we go in on Shen, but the problem is, is I didn't have my ulti. So doing this was kind of pointless. So yeah, Blue team's turret has been destroyed. that was really pointless right there, and um, we managed to pick up the turret on bottom. I'm playing, I think, with a full uh, complement of friends right now, uh, random, and a bunch of people that he knew and myself. And you know, like I said, once she gets rolling a little bit, she's kind of like Nautilus. Once she gets rolling, man, she can clear these jungles no problem. Uh, you can say that about most junglers, but... I don't know, there's something about certain junglers, they just have like a... Kind of like a really slower start, and I really feel like Vi is one of them. And there's Shen picking up another kill, tower diving, and... Right now, I just want to secure my blue, because I don't want them to take it because I know they're in the area, but... I managed to secure it, and not much else I can do. 
you know, that Shen is going to be a problem. But again, in the long run, only Shen was a danger. Akali never becomes a danger. Ash never becomes a real danger. And Fizz, well, you know, you take a look. I'm 75 at two and one. He's uh, 56 at two at zero and two. So should speed this up. I kind of feel like I've lost a little bit of my touch on doing some commentaries because I don't do them as often anymore. So, go in the dive, and yeah, there's Shen. And I don't know that I needed to flash there, but I flashed out anyways just for the sake of making sure I didn't get caught. I think it was more of a, a panic flash than anything. One thing I know is about Vi is she yells a lot. But I actually like that. Not sure what we're looking at. We're looking to cut off Shen, but no, they let it go and Purple team's So we just back out and there's a Kali as I run by. And she's gonna show up and I just don't want none of that, so whatever, you can have the race. I know Shen's there as well, so I again I just back off. They're only the race, they're not worth contesting, um when I'm not sure I can win. I might have been able to beat Akali because she's been beat down so much and uh, <laughs> wasting my ulti there going after Shen it really was not worth it there's the low arrow and does get the shark and Shen staying in the tower maybe a little bit too long and there's Akali Shen will get away in uh, favor of taking Akali down again Maybe not the best decision, but it happens. I said before Ash comes a problem. Yeah, we have a mirror match, Ash. This was a blind pick. That's all I can say. I don't play blind picks very often. It just happened to be what um, the guy setting this up uh, made, so uh, whatever. Yeah, that's why Shed's in the game as well. Yeah, so we managed to take the mid tower and gonna take dragon. Ta da! I'm gonna secure my blue buff. Go. Worried about a push that never happens. A colleague sitting off, and there's Shen as well, and they're gonna try and uh, go after me, and I just flash away. Trying to use my dash, and I use my ulti. Yeah, I'll show you that there. I should slow that down. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a great escape, but it's an escape. I know I'm being cut off, so I use my ulti to put a little distance and to suppress a collie for that one little bit. And that allows me to um, to get away from the trap there. So I was feeling <laughs> really happy at that point because I easily could have been beat down uh, between them. More jungle clearing. I do this a lot on any jungler. So yeah, fight happening down on in here. Random picks up uh, Fizz because you know Fizz just isn't a danger. Warwick being able to teleport out under their noses there. Shen pushing the tower. I show up just to just to back him off the tower. Again, not much going on. Like I said, it's not the most exciting jungle I've ever had, mainly because... Oh man, I'm not doing very well at this. <laughs> I'm really not. I haven't done this in so long. I've been the aggressive support, which is a lot easier. Akali almost going down, but that Katarina ult really hurt, and I focus on Shen and slam him down, and he flashes this mother slippery motherfucker. And so Akali, you know, she's going to be picked up again. And, you know, there's Fizz, and he's going after, but massive damage going out on him. He's going after, trying to cherry pick the kill on Ash, and we put out massive damage on him. 
as well as Katarina picks up um, Janna there. And okay, I'm fighting invisible wolves. This is an interesting bug. Hmm. Okay. Not only that, I got that little dot under my feet all of a sudden. I have no idea where that came from. Maybe an item I've built? And I just haven't been paying attention. Maybe the ancient golem causing that? I have no idea. Whatever it was, it's disappeared. That was interesting for a moment. But yeah, as you can see, I've gone the Ancient Golem, I've gone a Brutalizer for Armor Penetration, and I've gone a Phage. I'm working for a Frozen Mallet, and I believe I'm going to get um, a Black Cleaver on her for Armor Penetration. You know, that's, that's my damage. You know, two Survival Items, two Damage Items, Boots, and then an optional um, Final Item. So, again, just wanting to secure blue and giving it to um, Nidalee. And fuck, the whole team's there. Well, that didn't go well. But at least we secured our blue, I guess. And yes, unfortunately, they do take the dragon in that. So... Akali in the jungle, and she was going for the kill, and I show up and just help beat her down. And nice minion wave over here. I'm actually going to get some minion clearing, something I don't get very often. I don't know why I did that. I waste my ulti more, uh, more times than I actually use it effectively. Um, don't know how else to explain it. Yeah, Shen's running low on health, but unfortunately nobody's there to do anything about it. More jungling. More minion wave clearing. Putting some pressure on the mid tower, backing off. <laughs> Fizz missing his shark. Steel wraiths, why not? Lackluster commentary today, and I apologize for that. Maybe I'm just trying them too early, but here we go. We cherry pick Fizz, and we cherry pick Janna, and we almost get Shen again. I was going to continue to go after him, but Ash showed up, and and the tower with a sliver of health on it, and I didn't know this, and somebody mentioned, you know, that tower has one hit, and I'm like, oh, well, the hell with this, dash in. But I don't get the tower. Ash flashes away. Ash flashes after Ash. Ash on Ash. Ashception. And, you know, doing quite a bit of damage now. As you see, Shen's becoming less and less of a threat. You know, there's a Kali. And I try to get in on the assist, but, uh, nope, no doing. And we bull down the turret, take the inhibitor. And I think in this point, possibly Baron. We really don't want to lead them to Baron, but they're going to be, like, crazy enough to follow us, even with an inhibitor down. So we're just waiting, and I get the shark on me, so, and I can't get away, but... There goes Fizz already. And they're on the retreat. There goes Janna. I'm trying to, there we go, I'm saying I'm trying to ulti Ash to suppress her, and there she goes. So they follow us to Baron, and they engage us rather poorly, and they pay for it. 
And Akali with no chance to get away whatsoever. Yep. That wasn't happening. So we don't get Baron, but we do get a hell of a lot. We got um, two towers, an inhibitor, and virtually an ace, except for Shen, who... Damn, that slippery bastard. Alright, at this point, as you can see, I've picked up my frozen mallet on her. I've also picked up the ruby crystal, which is part two of the uh, black cleaver. Again, I don't know if the black cleaver would be best on her. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't mind building a bulwark on her. I think a bulwark would work well, especially against more uh, magic-focused teams. Uh, bulwark would work uh, quite well. Now again, just tanky items with a little bit of damage on top of it. You know, building an Atmos on her, if you build a lot of health, not bad either. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Stop doing that, bugger. What are you doing? At this point, you'll see here, uh, Nidalee gets in trouble. And... She may be in trouble except... BAM! There's the ulti. I show up. Shen's coming in, but we're not going to back off this. Can just continuing to beat on uh, Akali. And there we go. Showing up. Two, you know, two more help. And Shen trying to get away. There's a Warwick. Unfortunately, the shark gets on him. And, yeah, damn that slippery bastard. <laughs> I really love that ulti. That ulti is fun to use. Um, you know, it's great for saving. Uh, I go to help Warwick with Dragon, but he already got it. Uh, bugga, 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 bugga. What are you doing? Yeah, Janna was all by herself, so this is asking uh, quite a lot, and, well, I'm not afraid to use my open suppress, even though it's really not necessary. <sighs> I just love playing by, man. I really do. can't tell you how much fun she is to play. I mean, you really have to play her yourself. If you like the jungle, I think she's really good in the jungle. She's not bad in the lane as well. No, we're not going to jump back to that. We grab a Kali, and then it's time to get Baron. Shen shows up. He's the only one to show up. And he's not going to contest it. Ash tried to take it with the arrow, but yeah, I know how to smite. I don't always do it right, though, to be honest with you. There have been plenty of times I've panicked smite or something, and it doesn't work out well. So Ash and I clearing out the mid lane. I think we're, yeah, we're looking to push bottom. Nope. Ah, wrong way. Finally get Shen on that one, as you'll see here. Um, Katarina gets in trouble, but Ash and I are right here, so... There's that ulti to, just to get him off her back, and then Ash comes in, and Shen is now the focus, and Ash will not let him get away. And there we go, Ash picking up a double kill. It's pretty much spelling the beginning of the end here. I mean, we've still got a little bit, while, a little bit more to go, a couple more minutes, but... You know, I, I'm totally focused on trying to take out the towers. And I'm at this point tanking the tower as our Ash gets shut down. And I'm literally tanking the tower. I'm trying to survive as much as possible. Unfortunately, I'm hurt at this point and I have to back out. And try to hit the kill on Fizz. And Nidalee will pick that up. Get that second tower to about half. And Warwick now trying to bring it down. And he... Finally does, even though he's probably going to die for his efforts, but noble effort at that. Get the tower for uh, his death. 
Why not? Blue Team's turret has been destroyed. Not much further than the end. I want to try and push down this tower, but as you can see, I'm going to be intercepted. So, moving on then. Go back after blue, because why not? Find the team, even though Shen's not there. Somebody wanted to engage, say Shen's not here. And I said yes, but he could be. Forgetting his ulti. And team fight breaks out, and I don't even pay attention. <sighs> Man. I promise my commentaries will get better again. And ulti on Janna is really a waste. But she gets taken down really easily, and Akali decides to suicide. And she gets finished off, and there's the arrow, but body blocked. And down goes Fizz as well, and trying to get the other Ash, but that's not going to work. So it's like, okay, we'll take Shen. He's not going to get away. And Warwick taking the top turret. We're going to work on the bottom turret here. As you can see, the game's almost over as the surrender is incoming. At least I think it's incoming. Or do no, we actually take the Nexus. I thought they surrendered in this one, but I'm sorry, that was the game that I played after this, where they surrendered. And then just focusing down the, the Nexus now. I don't go for the cheap kills or cherry picks or back and forth. I like to go straight for the end of the game. I like to go for the win. Uh, I feel it more important to, um, to myself, you know, to get the win than, than to get the kills. But there you go, folks. Again, kind of a lackluster commentary. I realize that and I apologize for it. But I promise it will get better. Uh, I got to get back into doing commentary, back into doing Let's Plays. Um... You know, doing a, a lot of my road to level 30, which I haven't forgotten and I will get back to. Doing the live talking while I'm playing and then at times when I'm really concentrating and I don't talk much. Has kind of put a nice little coating of rust on my commentating abilities. So I'm trying to get back into that and I promise you, I promise it will get better. So until next time folks, this is One Big Bug signing out and I will see you then.